hey everyone how is going my name is Bukhari and today in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is how quick it is how powerful it is to create a custom grid using flex box so let's get started so I'm opening my code editor this is Coda I'm gonna open create a new file let's inject some HTML structure when we did so let's grab the preview window in here so that we can see what we are up to let's remove this script tag we don't need it so first give the page a title so we'll be creating flexbox grid layout pattern one because we will be creating different patterns in the future right so flexbox grid layout pattern one okay i'm gonna copy this let's save the file one more time let's save the file first time save i'm going to save the uh, file in the uh, flexbox 2016 folder where we already have the flexbox grid system that we have created in the previous video so i'm gonna quickly give it a name flexbox grid layout pattern one okay so flexbox grid layout pattern one okay let's save the file all right we just did let's get started so first i'm going to add a comment block in there i'm gonna just quickly minimize this space i'm gonna paste the text in there all right so we have this flexbox grid layout pattern let's move on let's save the file one more time so first thing first so we're gonna have the uh, grid engine right so um, the it's going to be the parent which is going to be the row right and one more comment tag in there quickly child which will be the column right and let's get started coding in here so first we're gonna have a selector called row which is the parent of the grid system okay so we're gonna have a display property called and the value will be flex okay all right um yeah and also in the child selector called column we're gonna have a property called flexbox property called flex and value will be one that means flex grow one flex shrink one i'm also going to add additional properties for this so i'm gonna add, i'm gonna need a margin so margin is this is this margin is very important this margin is gonna separate your column from each other okay so and it will depend on your need how much space you want in between the columns okay so this margin is important as well so let's write it down important so i'm also gonna add a padding so that we have a large amount of space within the text so 6m all right so i'm gonna also add a background color so that we can see the implementation right away i'm gonna quickly grab the um background color okay so just did and copy and paste it all right so that's that this is the grid engine okay engine engines flexbox engine mechanism that's it so the row is the parent and the column is the child of the parent okay so they have the row the parent has display block display flex element display property and the value is flex and the child which is column has the flex one property and value okay and that's that okay that's it so let's make some space in here and quickly add the html tag in there so i'm gonna have a div, div with a class name called row which is the parent of the grid engine and within here i'm gonna have another div with a class name called call which is column by sharp okay and i'm also going to add the text in here so that i can see let's add a text color so that we can see even better all right let's save the file one more time okay looking good everything is just fine so one column means 100 percent okay shrink one grow one that means 100 percent this is by default fluid by default responsive that's the power of flexbox all right let's move on so i'm gonna quickly grab this copy this and paste it few more times okay so i'm also going to copy this column one i'm gonna leave that alone 
I'm gonna put the second one second two columns right and the third one is going to have a third columns let's also change the number to make some sense so we have we're gonna have a four columns in here and um, the last one I'm gonna have only the single column as a footer right so that's it okay so this is the exact um, this is the layout I want for this tutorial and I want to show you how easy it is how powerful it is how customizable it is how rock solid it is the flexbox grid mechanism is that you can you can use the flexbox properties and values to make the complex grid system okay three levels of grid system using flexbox properties and value and make it and make it real okay so we are gonna create a three levels of grid layout pattern okay so we're gonna have a three levels of grid layout pattern that means that when we are in the mobile we will have a different pattern layout where when we are in the mobile and tablet viewport size we're, we're gonna have a different layout pattern okay and when we're in the desktop view large view viewport size we're gonna have different layout pattern as well okay so we're gonna have three levels of grid layout pattern okay so let's get started and fix the um, do the uh, magic magic work okay so that's the power of flexbox it's flexbox is totally full of magic so let's set the file one more time let's start with the first one so the row in we have only display flex okay i'm gonna add another property flex property called flex direction to column so by default i want this to be like this so the seats when we put the flex direction column they are all the column sits on top of each other in the stacking order okay this is by default how it works okay so this is exactly how i want by default okay so now i'm going to add a media query okay so media screen and the brackets and mean width so i'm i'm using mobile fast approach using the mean width so the mean width is going to be like 500 pixels okay so from what it means that from maximum to 500 pixels okay well so from maximum to 500 pixel i want to have a different kind of layout pattern okay so what do i want so i want this i want to select the row selector first and i want them to have a uh, single property and value called flex direction to row okay so by default it is stacking on top of each other right so once i put the flex direction to row it is going to be laid out like this the all the um columns will be uh, will sit next to each other depending on how many columns you have in one row in single row right so this is the row and this is the column so from maximum to 500 pixels i will have this um row flex direction row pattern style and when we are when we hit the 500 pixel and below we have this stacking order uh, layout pattern okay so this is exactly what you want so so in the mobile when we are in the mobile okay viewport we have this stacking order this is exactly what we want and when we are in the large viewport size we we want exactly this pattern okay so everything is just fine okay right so now i want to uh, manipulate these uh, columns okay grid columns so what i want what i want is that when we are in the uh, tablet viewport size okay i want the um these four columns to be two by two columns okay so they will be stacking like this single column half column half column they will be having half and half two rows okay so they'll be sitting next to each other by one by one two by two okay all right like these ones okay so so what how i'm going to do that so what i want to do i want to add the column 
selector in there so column okay the property is going to be flex all right so by default it is flex one means flex grow one shrink one okay so when we are in this media query 500 from maximum to 500 pixels i want them to be grow one shrink one and i'm also going to add a flex property and value flex property called flex basis i'm going to add the value basis value in this shorthand so we can do that okay so i'm going to add 50 percent okay so 50 percent is not going to work we need to add 40 percent okay and then this is my column okay so so basically what we are saying here is that also i also need to add another property in here called um let's see called uh, flex wrap to wrap so that all of the columns wraps each wraps next to each other okay so all of the column wraps to the row right so that's the power and we can also um we can also uh, get these two properties and value in one property value okay so let's do that so it is going to be flex flow okay so the flex flow means that we're going to have multiple values in there okay so flex flow is going to be row and wrap right in one line wow can you see the power i can so there you go that's the uh, mobile viewport size and when the we're in the mobile layout we want this stacking on top of each other all the columns right this is exactly what we want and when we are in the tablet viewport size we want this to be like this and we are when we are in the large viewport size we want different kind of pattern in here so now that we have fixed that right i want to have i want to target the you can see that the we had three columns here right one two three side by side i want to have that all together from large to um, tablet report okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to target the row which is in the third row right as you can see one two three right row so nth child i'm going to target the third row of the page and there it is and the column within the third row is going to be having this property and value okay so flex is going to be one that means flex one flex grow one flex shrink one okay so this is exactly what i wanted in the tablet view and the large view okay so we have the uh, three columns i want the three columns to be there exactly in the large desktop view tablet desk, tablet view and then when they are in the mobile they all will be stacking on top of each other okay precisely all right so and when we are in the large view we want our four columns to sit next to each other so we're gonna add we're gonna need another media query for that okay so media screen and the min width min width is for example 800 pixels okay and in here we're gonna have this property i mean the selector is going to be the column and the property is going to be flex one and that's it in one line unbelievably powerful okay so this is exactly what we wanted right so in the large desktop viewport size right we want this pattern layout pattern and when we are in the tablet viewport okay we want this pattern right we want the four columns divided by two by two right and three columns remains the same that's exactly how we want it and in the mobile view mobile view for size we have we wanted this to be stacked on top of each other right so let's save the file one more time so we have three levels of grid layout pattern alternation okay so this is how cool it is this is how powerful it is so this is level one now it is changed for the tablet and then let this is level 2 and this is level 3 okay okay level 1 level 2 level 3 level 1 level level 1 level 2 and then level 3 okay in few minutes you can see that using only four lines of media queries 
come on this is unbelievably crazy powerful okay the flex box is highly 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 customizable i'm just gonna i'm i'm loving it so you can see the power of flex box so in a few minutes we created a three levels of layout grid pattern okay that is really amazing so there you go this video is about it creating the layout custom layout okay so pattern one flexbox grid layout pattern one and we'll be creating more layout pattern okay in the future so i hope this gives you a heads up idea how you can manipulate all this right all the pattern and all the rows and things columns yeah you can target them like this okay row and child three that means this row okay this row this is the third row okay so that's how we can manipulate um, all the columns and grids and rows and everything okay so i hope you like this video i hope you are highly benefited from this tutorial if you are please give this video a thumbs up and if you are benefited from this tutorial please do share with the world because you will never know who you will inspire and help so please do share with the world and do write to me how you find this tutorial what is your experience with this tutorial do you learn something new if you have any questions regarding this please do ask me if i know the answer i'll definitely get back to you with the answer right and please do share with the world and do write to me and thank you for watching thank you for your time thank you i really appreciate your presence it means a lot okay so this is you are the reason i'm creating all these tutorials right so thank you so much i'm really grateful for everything so i'll catch you in my next video thank you thank you thank you thank you okay take care bye catch you in my next video bye